Hello, everybody. YouTube fucking sucks here, aka Dan the Norseman, aka who gives a fuck. And what I wanted to talk about, shut up, laptop. What I wanted to talk about today was Grand Theft Auto Online and the problems I have with it. Now, before I go ahead and get into it, let me just say I don't want to discourage anyone from getting uh, GTA 5. It's fantastic. It is one of the greatest games Rockstar has ever made. In terms of Grand Theft Auto, I would go as far to say that it ties with Vice City. Yeah, it's that good. And everyone commenting, ooh, well, I gotta say that Red Dead Redemption's the best one. Red Dead Redemption is good. Uh, it's great, actually. I just, I don't know, I never could really get into it. Uh, I really preferred this version, but that's another story. Now, Grand Theft Auto Online. My gripe with it is that it is designed to eat your money. They have microtransactions in it, which means you could spend real money for fake money in-game. Uh, via the uh, either PlayStation Store or Xbox Live, whatever you have. They force you towards it. They literally fucking just do everything in their power to make you do the microtransactions. And I don't understand why. I really don't. Because, number one, they made over a billion dollars on this game already. Number two, they're gonna make probably over another billion dollars on it by the end of the year. So that's just a shit ton on game sales. And on to the most important part, they don't need to force people into microtransactions. People are stupid, man. People spend so much money to get stupid things for their avatar for on fucking PlayStation Home. People spend hundreds of dollars on fucking Facebook games. Rockstar, people are stupid, okay? You don't gotta worry about people not doing microtransactions. They're gonna do it. But you don't need to fucking just make everything a slippery slope towards spending real-world money. Now, there are two things that I like that Rockstar did. Uh, mainly... The level system, which certain uh, guns and upgrades and car upgrades, you can't get till you're at a certain level. A lot of people were pissed off by this, but you know what? I'm thankful for it. Because when I first heard about the microtransactions before GTA Online even went online, I was terrified. Because I'm like, great, so now rich kids are going to buy the game. They're going to spend like five or six hundred dollars. And... At level one, they're gonna have old guns with old upgrades and like an armored car and a high-end apartment. I'm like, great, so there's gonna be assholes like that. But they put in the level system as a deterrent to that, and I'm thankful, Rockstar. I'm thankful that you don't give power to noobs like that. And another thing, when you die in free mode in online, you only lose two grand instead of five grand like in single player. Those are the two things that I kinda liked that they did. But as for forcing you towards microtransactions, they do this through various ways. Now, GTA Online has a shit ton of griefers. And every time a griefer kills you, everything that you have on you, on you they can steal. And also, in addition to that, because they killed you, you lose another two grand. Really? Honestly, I think what they should have done is, I think... You lose two grand when you die if you kill yourself or if an NPC kills you. But I think if a griefer kills you, another player character, I don't think you should lose the two grand. Because they already can fucking rob you. I, it's, it's not fair. Oh, but there's the banking thing. Put your money in the bank so they can't steal it. Easier said than done. I say this because... You can get shot and killed while you're on your phone in the game. When you bring up the internet and you can't see your character or move or do anything, people can come up and fucking kill you and rob you. So to even get on the fucking bank thing to put your money away, you gotta make sure you get away from everybody. Because 8 out of 10 people are fucking griefers on the servers. Let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, there's this passive mode thing which was put in as a kind of griefer deterrent, but it really does not fucking work at all. Um, I think all it does is it stops people from shooting you when they're on foot. But people can still shoot you dead when they're in a car. And they can still hit you with a car. And you could still be killed and fucking robbed. And it costs a hundred dollars of game money to turn on passive mode every time you turn it on. So yeah, that's just more just spend your money. <sighs> what else? Oh, the gun upgrades. I need a fucking drink for this one. Fuck. The gun upgrades. 
are ridiculously expensive in online. Now I don't get it, because buying new cars, buying car upgrades, and buying guns is all almost the same price as it is in single player. But in online, the gun upgrades, like, say you buy a $7,000 gun, uh, the scope for it, which would be, you know, in single player, like, 800 bucks, is like 15,000 in online. Why? So that's, that's just more money, money eaten right there. Um, let's see, what else? Buying cars. See, in single player, you could just steal any car off the street, customize it, and keep it in your garage. In online, you can't keep stolen cars in your garage. They make it so you have to fucking spend tens of thousands of dollars to buy brand new fucking cars. Brand new fucking cars that people can fucking destroy and steal, keep in mind. But you can't keep stolen cars in your garage. Like, really? The game is called Grand Theft Fucking Auto Online, and you can't steal cars and keep them. Duh! Kind of fucked up there, didn't you? But, yeah, I just... Don't get me wrong, I like Grand Theft Auto Online. In fact, it's far above average for me when it comes to online experiences, but... Dude, it's so hard to make money. Oh, and the apartments. I forgot to talk about the apartments. The apartments are expensive as fuck. Even for, you know, just simple ones. I mean, I think the cheapest apartments are around $100,000 in-game. Uh, my apartment was like 150 grand, And you have to pay a utilities bill and a mechanic for your garage daily. For me, it's like 50 bucks each a day. So that's a another 100 bucks a day in-game that I have to fucking spend. Just to keep my apartment. And people could say... Oh, well, that's how it works uh, in real life. No, it fucking doesn't. In real life, a mid-sized apartment does not cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay? An apart apartments are cheap. I mean, it, if you could buy houses in-game, maybe I'd kind of understand being in, being, uh, them being expensive and paying bills on them. But you can't buy houses. You can only buy apartments. <sighs> so, yeah. If anyone wants to uh, play me in online... Uh, I'll put it in the description. My PSN name is RobinLee89, which, again, like this channel, belongs to my girlfriend. And how that came about is because I had always, I was always using my girlfriend's PS3 for the longest fucking time. And I'd use her account to go online. But when I ended up getting my own PS3, I was too fu I was just too fucking lazy to make a new PSN, but... I play GTA Online, I play Doom Classics Complete, which more fucking people need to play. It's a PSN download, it's pretty amazing. And, uh, what else? Uh, DC Universe Online, those are the three games I play online on PSN. But, you're gonna have to be lucky to catch me online, because I don't really, I don't really play consoles anymore, because every time I do, every other time, my piece of shit LG TV shorts out, so... If you're lucky to catch me online, you know, I'll fucking, I'll join your crew, I'll do what the fuck ever. But, yeah. I just, uh, just wanted to talk about that shit. I'm gonna get back to drinking.